Researchers familiar with the conflicting and inaccurate history given by William Branham's various stage personas understand that William Branham and key figures working with him worked very hard to conceal certain elements of their past. Very little is known about William Branham's actual history from birth until 1945. In the history that we do have through government records, newspaper accounts, and other historical data, are quite different than William Branham's stage persona described. The same can be said of other key figures in William Branham's ministry. Gordon Lindsay, William Branham's campaign manager during the latter rain version of The Message, for example, has large portions of his history that has been purposefully erased or cleansed. Very few historians are aware that Lindsay was a leader in Amy Semple McPherson's Angelus Temple Foursquare Church cult or that the Foursquare Church district he managed was directly adjacent to the district for Sharon Orphanage. Even fewer are aware that Sharon Orphanage was funded by Angelus Temple, and Lindsay was directly connected to Lateran before he first encountered William Branham. William Branham himself was part of the strategy to conceal Gordon Lindsay's past. Though Lindsay was a Foursquare Church minister at the time, Branham labeled him as an Assemblies of God minister. Lindsay was, at one time, working with the Assemblies of God as he toured with cult leader and con artist John G. Lake, but had been recruited into the Foursquare cult long before meeting William Branham. You can learn this and more on william-branham.org.